Hey loves, so welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for welcome to and if you are a channel subscriber welcome back so guys uh, my today's video is actually um i'm like if you're planning to move out and uh, you don't know like your 50 50 whether you should move out or maybe not um make sure to watch this video from a to z before you move before you make that step of moving out yo don't just don't just move out don't just make sure you watch this video from a to z and uh, as i'm going to take you through um my experience of moving out and living alone i'm going to do a makeup tutorial yeah it's just my simple go to makeup tutorial yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video yeah so let's start number one you want to move out but you don't have a job you still depend on your family you still depend on your parents think fast make sure you have rent make sure you have a place where you'll be getting rent more so these people that are funded by their parents like you depend on your parents for everything like ev and i mean everything you know, I depend on my parents, like food, rent, nainini. You know, when you're living, come on, I your family, like your parents, how how na issue na food because every day when you wake up, you have something to eat, and you don't you don't have to worry about food because you just wake up and food is there, and then you don't have to worry about your supper because food is there already. You don't have to worry about your lunch because food is there so you're planning to move out you don't have a job you don't have a source of income you're still depending on your parents and uh, you're eagerly you eagerly and you eagerly want to move out please please make sure you find something to do make sure you find like a source of income because yo it's not easy it's not it are going in Africa end month and you're like, I wish thing a move out. I wish blah 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 blah. Okay, so number one, my first point, if you are planning to move out, make sure that you have a place where you'll be getting your rent. Come out your parents will agree to support you. Okay, like if you start your life, then then that's fine. But if you just like you want to move out and start living on your own depend on yourself make sure you have a source of income or may maybe make sure you have somewhere you'll be getting your rent that's number one number two when you're living alone you know there's nobody who's going to get food for you you know there's nobody who's going to take care of you it's just you yourself you and yourself so like make sure that you have like some small savings yeah for for getting this small small food stuffs you know even if you do a monthly shopping my friend and you think that that monthly shopping is going to sustain you for the whole month you're wrong you're very wrong it's actually not going to sustain you for that whole month it's actually going to like at a, at a seven, two weeks as they share so make sure that you have a somewhere you'll be getting your number three make sure that you have savings 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 is a very important when you're living alone because you don't know what emergency is coming i would join up in emergency in Tokyo, by the way so when you're planning to live alone or maybe when you're planning to move out make sure that you have savings and yeah because they're really going to help you a lot a lot a lot a lot and please don't try to put yourself on another level just live ishi according to your level my friend don't don't just get some things that you can afford for the meantime get some things that you can afford then as time goes okay the lack will grow then you'll get those luxurious things you've always been wanting to get but don't try to like put yourself on another level just because you're seeing your friends living on uh, maybe high standards i love hey don't 
my friend, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer. So don't try to lift your standards. Just live according to your own standards. Atakama people will look down upon you. It's fine. It's fine. Let them look down upon you, but you know what you're doing. Because one thing I know is every day we are we are evolving and every day we are growing. So as time goes, you're going to grow. As time goes, you're going to like evolve and maybe become that better person. Yeah. The next one. Okay. The next one is please, 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 please avoid debts. Avoid debts. Avoid kukopa. Avoid mami kopo because you're they're going to look you like they're going to make you be desperate. Like, I don't know how to put it. Zitakfanyo upatwa na depression, yeah. So like, try to avoid the debts. And then they'll try to. They'll try. Zita zita jaribu kuku kusanisha to your friends, yeah. So even if even if you are hungry and but then this is my secret, you know. For me, one thing one thing I do, Nikki. One thing I usually do, Nikki Nini. One thing I usually do. I usually buy noodles. Those things they usually come. And by the way, let me tell you a thing. You know, for me, noodles. Like in the morning, my okay, my breakfast I usually take with every day. That's how broke, like that's how broke I got. In the morning I usually take with and milk. At lunch, noodles, supper noodles. And guys, I find it much better than nothing yeah so there's no need there's no need need you find shape like and then on some days on some days like there may be al kuku gali and some beef and maybe skuma but every day like almost every day i usually eat noodles because that's where my budget is that's where my budget lies like yeah i don't like rice for me I don't like rice I'd, I'd rather prefer noodles or spaghetti so yeah but every day when you come to my place you won't lack noodles yeah so that's a hint for you guys don't sleep hungry noodles are just 35 bob or maybe at some places they are 40 bob so don't sleep hungry don't sleep hungry and yet you can afford 35 bob to buy noodles i know sometimes it might get hard and you may, may you might even lack that 35 bob but don't worry when you get money try to utilize it try to save it because end month and one thing i came to realize when you live alone month in a kimbianga kaktu ingina like outer outer job in your end month you may figure and just you know and when end month is there you need to pay the bills you need to like at least do some shopping yeah and uh, the next thing Please make sure that you you prioritize food than clothes and all those stuff. Make sure that food the kombele, the ones that could not expensive clothes. Yeah. Then uh, the next thing is uh, one thing I'm regretting moving out. Ni ku move out na sina sina kazi. Yeah, I regret that a lot. Because, yeah, even if I have someone, like, someone who is funding, someone who is uh, helping me to pay my bills, uh, my aunt, that's it. But still, you know, it feels bad to just wake up and do nothing. I was telling you guys, you know, it feels bad to just wake up and do nothing. And, yani unamka, hauna kichwa kufanya, unamka tunakuka. That thing usually sucks. It really sucks. And yeah. So some sometimes sometimes I might be depressed because I'm I'm like, yo, I need to find a job, I need to find a source of income, at least that I'm in independent because yeah. So sometimes it sucks to just wake up. You know some people they're like, I wish nigekwa ne nigekwa life ya kuam katu alafuna ka then someone is providing him but then that thing sucks. It's not like it's not enjoyable the way some people think. It's not enjoyable. There is so much joy in making your own money. Like that thing is the very, like that's the very best thing someone can ever wish for. For me, like I usually wish that at least Nikwena a source of income pale penyena joa end month says ama 
I, you know, for me, I can say I'm not that idol idol because my YouTube usually sometimes keeps me busy when I'm idol. I I can do TikTok, so maybe I can start recording a video of which I'm wishing one day my channel will be monetized because, yo, I really want to be to work as a full-time YouTuber. But, you know, sometimes I get unmotivated because you are recording a video and then high high quality like, like it's not getting views either most views you're getting it's a hundred or maybe something or maybe you're getting 35 views that thing in a shusha more like in a shusha morale you don't feel like recording a video again yeah so sometimes we do like for me i do it because i love it and also i actually feel good when i do a video or maybe when I do a vlog, I feel so good. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm opening up and reducing some stresses I had. Yeah, so guys, that's it. So if you're planning to move out, make sure that you have a source of... Don't think that someone paying your bills is going to help you that much. It's not. First of all, make sure that you are busy. Make sure that you find something that's going to keep you busy because if you just stay in the house doing nothing, you'll end up being depressed. And I don't know, like, you know, there's something about, like, staying just at home and doing nothing. Unanzango fikiria vitu zingina as it makes sense. Unanzango fikiria sasa nini. Like, usually think of some things that they don't even make sense. So, like, yeah. If you're planning to move out, make sure that you have a source of income and make sure that you have at least something that's keeping you busy. Make sure that you know how to plan your own money. Don't just spend because you've seen other people spending and you want to spend so that you guys may look of the same class. Don't. Like, live your own life. Live your life. Na class, maisha class yako, usijilinganishe na the other people. Even if they call you broke, even if they call you like you don't have money. But at the end of the day, you know what you're doing. You know like, you keep grinding. And I promise you, you'll actually reach wherever you want to reach. Right now, guys. And also living alone. I'm, only, I'm almost winding up, by the way. Living alone you know when you're sick but then you know there, there was a day i was sick the day before i recorded this video i was actually sick very sick and then i was like Sister, what if something bad happens to me god forbid what if something bad happens to me and yet i don't have like i don't have someone close i can call that day my mom's phone was off and then my sister's phone i don't know like you don't have someone else to communicate. You don't have a boyfriend. Yeah, you're just you yourself, you and yourself. So it's like, what if something bad happens to me and yet I don't have anybody who I can call? That's the other thing. Even Dr. Ngine has a little depression. I'm telling you guys, that night, I didn't sleep. And uh, mind you, I was having a very bad heart. Like, I was having a very bad heart. Like, I was having a very bad heart. And it was a very bad night yeah and i remember that day i even posted on my my status it was actually a very bad night so when you're living alone expect anything my friend you might fall sick in the middle of the night and you don't have anyone to call you know for me sometimes when i'm sick i actually call maybe some friends and then nikisha ongea now i feel like somehow good they're not like we're not that close but they are my friends you know there's uh there's something about sharing your problems yeah so yeah so that's it but there are those days see actually those friends will be there for you every time when every time you need them yeah like expect anything something bad might happen and you're just alone learn how to stay by yourself learn how to stay by yourself don't always usizoe ku depend kwa watu don't 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 depend on people learn how to depend on yourself before you know like you start growing yeah for me that's what i can just live for you guys don't don't like don't yeah you don't know those people will not be there for you every time you need them so don't forget that please learn how to depend on yourself learn how to make yourself happy don't always wait for someone to come and make you happy yeah because that person is not going to be there for you 24 7 you always have to learn how to be biased you 
and uh, God, because you know God is always there when you call for Him. So, guys, I think my video is almost ending up, and I'm hoping this video is going to help you. Whoever is planning to move out, I believe this video is going to help you at least. Ujipange vizuri before you move out. Don't just make quick decisions to so move out and then you're like, once you regret, mbona you moved out, nani nini ni, don't. So I ho I'm hoping that this video is really going to help you guys and motivate you guys who are willing to move out. And maybe that's someone who mwenye jezoya kuji make happy. Please learn how to make yourself happy because those people you are depending on are, are not going to be there for you 24 seven. Yeah guys, I hope you really enjoyed my video. And see you on my next video. Yeah, I don't know next. Yeah, so guys, see you on my next video. I love you guys so much. Toodles. Bye. And yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page at Diana. Bye. And please subscribe.